So I finally got the animated series Spider-Man. He looks great. I love how he look. I've been like waiting for this for a long time to get. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, just imagine yourself like in 1995. Like you just seen like the animated series. You go to Toys R Us and you see the animated series Spider-Man, right? And you grab it. This is how I feel today. I know I had a situation at the Walmart con. But you know I have to buy this little extra to get it early. I just went and bit the bullet and got it because it's the one I want. Cause I know everybody posting the first appearance of Spider-Man. And I didn't really want that one. Like I didn't grow up with that one. Like, he's the one I grew up with. He's the one to give me the nostalgia feelings of 1995. So I had to grab this while I could. You know, why it's not like at $100. So I had to take advantage of that. And you got the back. You can like see that he has like the uh, little stuff that he come with like takes you back from back in the day when they used to show you what the little play abilities that they used to come with. Like little web shooters and stuff like that. But you got those little webbings in his hands and sure. And then you got the bottom of there. You can see like his little bio. You can, uh, you want to read it, pause it there. And that's it. Just a uh, big nostalgia trip for this. So. Let's go ahead and grab it and take it out the box and see what makes it tick. So here's Spider-Man out the packaging. He looks cool. I like how he looks. Uh, as you can see down here, you got like some muzzle detail that they did with the shading. So that's cool. And I like the little rib cage they did right here on for the rib cage. You can see right there the little line is there. So I like the emblem. And they put this on the back right so you look like you just got this big black line into the uh, back there but they just trying to do definition for his back muscles so that's what that little line there looks terrible you know it look like somebody just like whoops with the ink pen but I guess it's supposed to be there for this figure cuz it's supposed to be like the animated series and they're gonna have like the uh, the other one that's part of the uh, I was about to say Super Friends again, the Spider-Man and his amazing friends, they're going to have like one that's like more just like the normal color of Spider-Man that just happens to be on this body mode. So you got that, so we're going to get into some articulation here, so you can go up that far, you can rotate it 360, you can go down that far, and you can do the T-pose like this. So he's still a new figure, so you still gotta break him in. So, so just, so just be a little crafty. You don't want to overdo it. So that's that. You can twist the bicep. Got double jointed elbows here. And just there you go. There you go, Spider Man. So he got that. And I'm not really a big fan of this. Just this big black dark blue coloring here because he's probably just emphasizing the muscles so so it should be like a little dark blue over here just to show off his muscle not just this big whole glop right I'm so I'm not a fan of this big glop here but I guess it's supposed to be like you hiding in the shadows but it, it depends on the lighting though so you gotta worry about the lighting though so yeah I'm just not a big fan of that big giant blue line there not a fan of it at all so you got some articulation here at the diaphragm here. So let's see, can we spin it all around? Yes, we can. So that's great. You can do that. Okay, so the butterfly joints. Um, I think you probably got to like work them out so you might need the hot glue gun so you don't want to break them. So there you go. He, this one moves. So you only can go so far. And you only can go back that way so far. So that's a bummer that you can't go all the way back. So that sucks right there. That sucks. Uh, yeah, just work it out a bit and yeah, moving. You'll get it all moving. But yeah, it only can go a certain amount, which suck. So if there are mod out there, you know, you can make it go uh, further, you know, with modding, go for it. But I don't have the skill to do that, so I'm not trying to break my figure. So I'm not going to do that. So. He do the John Clots that far. He only can go, whoa, whoa, so he can kick far back. So he can kick really far back. He can kick really far out for a Spider Man. No, he just kicked that far. That's it. And you got double jointed knees. Yeah. And right here, you can see it's pinless. So it's pinless. So that's pretty good. So that's awesome. And you got some like that swivel here. You got some calf swivel. Said that swivel, but you still got that swivel guard, so so there you go. See that swivel, 
got calf swivel. And you got articulation at the ankle here. No toe, uh, no toe articulation. So he's not like the uh, the family pack one that come with the uh, spinneret. So it's not that one. Is he the best Spider-Man? I don't know. I, I still prefer the more muscular Spider-Man. No, I, I like the muscles. So he is not my favorite, bro. But I'll do a comparison with the Spider-Man soon on the side comparison, though. But this is him. Oh, got yeah, wrist swivel. Wrist swivel. Yeah, being at the wrist as well. So you can do that. So. With that part being done, so that's him. I just love this Spider Man from the uh, show because he used to grow up with watching the show. So uh, I love this Spider I had to get him. So let's get into the uh, accessories. So this is all he come with with the accessories. He got his two open uh, fingers here. So he got that the, the web crawling hands. He got the clipping hands. And you know, you know, he already come with the fist, and then he come with the weapon. So, my thing with Hasbro is that they did good with this one. This one they did good. They didn't skip out on wall crawling hands, though. But if you have a problem like getting these hands like colored or something, because you said cost more, because you know, spider because of the de decorations. What you're gonna start doing if you're gonna start giving us less like accessories. Give us different hand gestures so we can like, interchange it with the other Spider-Man. So if you're going to do this version of Spider-Man with the webbing, that they all the same, you know, fingers and stuff, at least give us different hand gestures because Spider-Man is a very, like, body language type character. He got, like, his different eyes that he does, a different hand gesture. He's a, he's a jokester character. So you need to start giving us, like, accessories and hand showing off his personality. So... That's what I would say to do if you're going to keep doing Blue Red Spider-Man with the webbing and saying you can't go too much. Even though the prices, you know, with the prices getting so much, you, you're competing with SH figures now, so you might as well just try to give us, like, more stuff. It's not even an entitled thing, though. It's just that you in competition with other companies. So, like, some people don't have the money to get, like, all the stuff that comes out. Some people only can pick certain things that they want but if they like Marvel and they like Dragon Ball and they go into Target and they see a SA figure as a $35 and then see a Marvel Legends as $35 what's going to look more advertising so think about the competitors uh, Hasbro just think about that before you like comment and vent because I don't know that's what I'm doing now but yeah I, I just didn't like that one but I digress so let's get into the size comparison so here's our animated series Spider-Man standing up to an animated series Wolverine and an animated series Venom. And um you can see here. So not really too happy with this coloring of Wolverine and this Spider-Man is kinda just mad. Venom look awesome. Venom is awesome. I just don't like that they didn't put the little whites in his little hand there. But I digress. But these are the animated series of that I have right now that have these color schemes here. So on to the next size comparison. So here's our Spider-Man standing next to the Hobgoblin and our King Kingpin. I'm about to say King Fisk, but Kingpin. You know, so here have them standing next to each other. And he's supposed to be retro carded. And he's supposed to be kind of compatible with this Spider-Man here. But you know, they didn't like shell shade them. So I'm pretty sure they might make these versions again shell shaded. Or they might just leave it as is. Because then they probably gonna have you buy another hot goblin that's shell shaded to blend it better with this. But they supposed to be compatible because they retro card and they had like the little 1995, 94 style boxing that the animated series came in. So they supposed to be compatible with this. And hopefully we get a, a Alistair Smythe so we can have him with the Kingpin. So that would be great. So you can still even have them working together as they was doing in the TV show. Trying to get Spider-Man. I hope they have a HasLab. That's the Spider Slayer. That would be amazing to top it all off. But that will have to be a next year thing. So hopefully that comes into fruition. 
with the box that they come out with, uh, the two-pack VHS box of Spider-Man and Carnage in the black suit. So hopefully it goes good and we also get that Peter Parker head. We definitely got to add a Peter Parker head, so that's that. Now you have the Mayfix Spider-Man, you have the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man, and you have the Animated Series Spider-Man. Now here's my question for you. Which one of these modes are the best mode to you? Just leave it in the comments below. As I always say, beauty is always in the eye of the beholder. So, for me, I want to still say Mayfax is still the best. But, I do like muscles. So, I will say the second one, there's the uh, Renew Your Valve. The second. But I know everybody loving this one, one right here. But it's just personally not my favorite though, so. That's my opinion. Now I just swap their heads. Now the reds are a little darker. As you can see from the Renew Your Vows head, it's like a little bit darker from this red. And vice versa with the animated series Spider-Man head on the Renew Your Vows body. So, um, I guess if you squint really hard for this one, it looks like the spectacular Spider-Man. You know, so that's kind of cool. This one is just his head look a little too small. So, mm, I'm not really a fan of it. So, here we got Spider Man standing next to a G.I. Joe Classified Storm Shadow and a NECA Goliath from Gargoyles. And just because I got an SS Figure Arts review for Street Fighter and a Ken from the Shoto line of Street Fighter standing next to the animated series Spider Man. They look awesome. And finally, and never least, you got Fox McCloud from World of Nintendo, Sailor Mercury from SH Figure Arts, and you got Ares, Marvel Legends. So the figure is a good figure. I like the figure overall. Just not a big fan of the coloring of that I was saying earlier, because it should emphasize like the muscles and not just be just all I just throw the paint on it, you know, nah, not a big fan of that, but it did come with some accessories, despite I'm not happy with the webbing accessory, it's kind of poo poo, the webbing is just poo poo, so from now on I bro, start being more creative with the webbing, look at some of the, uh, the, the games if you need to for references, uh, comic books, do like the webbing shield, get more web shield, Yo, know, give him like the gliding web he did, or the parachute web. You no, know, give him some different stuff. Look at Mayfax. You know how they got these little webbing to do that. Cause uh, y'all getting premium. You know you're not premium, but you're getting there. So start giving us some premium like accessories. You know, go all in. If you're gonna raise the price, go all in and be and you compete with the Japanese imports. Those are your uh, those are the people you gotta go to competition. Compete with them. It's a competition. Make me earn it, you know. Make you guys gotta win me over, so I can buy more figures. Cause sooner or later I'm be picky. I'm only gonna get certain characters that I like from a certain time period. I'm not gonna try to get the universe. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna probably do a video, book nights video. Probably gonna do a video talking about the stuff Ryan was talking about. Cause I didn't really agree with it. So I might be that in the coming days. So keep it out, guys. But until next time, this is Craft. You all been watching Happy Bring Reviews. Maintaining. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next story review video. Bye. Be good.